Hi, I'm Nick Faulkner, and I'll be taking you through the Digital Systems module, but so you don't have to look at my face all the time, I'm going to minimise and then disappear for most of the rest of this recording. In this particular module, we're going to talk about hardware and software. Now, if you go and look for images of computer hardware and software, you'll find a lot. Here is what I found looking for computer hardware. But what does this all mean? There's a lot of it about it can be confusing, and the same thing happens when you start looking for software. There's so many different pieces of software. So what are we going to do in this particular module? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to review the stuff that you've already done on data and representation, because that understanding and terminology is very important for talking about what we're talking about in this module and also for later modules. We're also going to look at the wide variety of technology that's around today, the stuff you could find on your desktop, the stuff that's in your house, the stuff that's in schools, and how this has changed over time. But we're also going to look at comparing computers with us. And we're going to explore the idea of how a computer is similar to things that we find on a human. And how the computer can also be seen as being equivalent to some of the functions of our brain. And we're going to give a lot of examples as part of this discussion. Examples of how you can actually put things into a computer and get them out again. Finally, we're going to develop some terminology. A lot of these you will already know, so our apologies if we do cover something that you already know, but we're trying to make this as general as possible. By the end of this module, we hope you have a good understanding of digital systems, you feel familiar with them, and you have a sound basis for building on this in later modules. What are we waiting for? Let's go.